you see diabetes unlike any disease like typhoid or malaria or anything is not a disease which will go away okay in layman's terms it is something which is a disorder in your body right and uh, you may uh, have inherited it or you may be having a dormant gene which can become um, uh, the thing uh, according to the circumstances or the environment or your food and your uh, general lifestyles which can uh, then make you a diabetic right now diabetes uh, just means that your the circulating sugar levels in your body are much higher than the permissible limits okay so when they are higher what what happens so when they are higher they definitely affect every single part of your uh, body the cells microscopically and macroscopically and right from head to toe it has uh, an effect on your body right from you can take the skin the hair the eyes the uh, heart the kidney you know and your foot your nerves so everything uh, if you live with uh, high sugar it will get affected by this so that is why it is very important that uh, you do get especially if you have a family history family history means um, a near relative your siblings your parents grandparents everything matters then it is good to get it tested now you may say why should i get tested if i don't have any symptom that is not you see we want to catch you before you have the symptoms mostly by the time you have symptoms it is already been high for quite some time right so we want in case it is uh, borderline high then we want to uh, make you aware so that you can restrict your intake of uh, carbohydrates sugars and anything which can aggravate your situation and also improve your lifestyle so that you can burn out those extra carbohydrates or, or uh, calories which you do take uh, even i mean or you have to take because you have no other way or no other means so that is why diabetes i would really call it a termite i call it a dimak to people because i say from inside it will eat you up you won't even know just like a wood which is being eaten up by termites and later on you find that the whole wood has been chewed up and it's all hollow so don't let that termite get into your body take care so that you can prevent uh this uh from you know you can we can want to catch you before you are you know before you become a diabetic so that you are just a pre diabetic and we'll uh, advise you and you follow those this uh thing so that you don't have to be medicated all the time it's the myth which everybody wants to hide behind you see uh that is really wrong because that's where we want to catch you we want to catch you when you're just a pre diabetic or an early diabetic or you're borderline as we say it's like somebody you're sitting on the fence and you can fall on the other side too and become a diabetic so why do you want to become a diabetic and also you know uh delay the process of trying to reverse this metabolic uh, changes which are occurring in your body by simple means like eating the correct food at the correct time and uh, restricting your uh, intake of um, you know things like you know ju- simple things like i tell them why do you want to have juice okay juice you remove all the fibers and so the fructose it gets converted very easily into glucose because the amount is huge when you take and i said if you have teeth why can't you chew those uh, the pomegranate seeds and eat it why do you want to have anar juice so like that simple things or a daily exercise daily burning out and uh, minding what you eat so if you do have to eat a sweet okay don't take the second helping you can do even simple things like that which will help you not become a diabetic so being a pre diabetic i don't have to bother is the uh, i think is the worst attitude to have it is always better to come and say doctor i am a uh, borderline can i prevent myself uh, can i prevent it from becoming a diabetic uh, prevent myself from becoming a diabetic i would really appreciate that so that is a myth and i think that should not be especially educated or even aware people why not why only educated people must be made uh, to become aware of this 
that just because you are a pre diabetic we are not going to medicate you because they are always scared uh, medicine we have to take it for lifelong this that and other things they'll come up with so that's why they won't come to you so i said no every time we are not going to start you with medication first of all we are going to see what is your level and how and what is your family history take a de- detailed um, uh, the same history from you and then prepare a um, uh, format for you which you can follow so uh, isn't that better than finally coming after say 6 months with uh, a high fasting and a high pp level where i have to medicate you then <laughs>